Mahan Masood. He is an aircraft accident investigator and a former squadron leader of the Pakistan Air Force. Thanks so much for being with us. How pervasive uh, is this practice of issuing fake licenses? Have you heard of it uh, before this report came out? Uh, well, there had been rumors before at hand, but very specific, if we look at the incident itself and post-incident incident analysis or the preliminary report that has come across, it's been very specifically stated by the uh, aviation minister uh, that there are dubious licenses which are there, um, which are once again of critical nature, criminal offense as being taken in the in the talk itself. Uh, there will be consequences for people, certainly with the passage of time. With one important aspect that needs to be taken or kept in mind, uh, this Pakistan International Airlines uh, have been or has been uh, passed on to uh, from the heights of uh, the 60s, 70s, and 80s uh, to where it stands now. Uh, overall, the scenario or the situation which is faced by uh, the CEO of PIA is grave, yes. But in my opinion, he is more than qualified to ensure that this one uh, incident does not result into, uh, into a fallout overall. Okay. But rest assured, this dubious uh, licenses case is of critical nature for uh, the reputation of uh, PIA itself and overall Pakistan globally. It is crucial for success that we nail this or nip this in the bud, as we call it, so that we don't have this issue resulting over and over again. Right. Let me ask you this uh, before I let you go. I mean, I imagine that you have seen the simulation and actually heard uh, the cockpit recordings from this crash. I actually have. I want to ask how shocked you were to hear how disconnected, I mean, the pilots seemed from the severity of the situation before that plane crashed. Yes. Uh the uh, CVR recording or the cockpit voice recorder is very specific. Uh, the, the talk between uh, the outside agency, which is the air traffic control, and the uh, pilot, uh, the pilots themselves, it is shocking. There is no questions asked. Uh, we have problems uh, of uh, grave nature. Once again, an unstable approach. Continuing that unstable approach till we hit the runway uh, instead of the tires or the gears, uh, hitting it, uh, hitting the runway with the engines and then ensuring that it goes around after even doing that. And then going into the ground short of the runway, initiating another approach. Uh, the factors are crucial, yes. But what led to them, led them to ensure or enable them to go into such a state it is that is what is critical why part of this whole accident is of the most important aspect that can come across and it will be once again uh, very crucial to find out the truth or the acceptable truth as we call it uh, by the accident investigation team uh, they are competent individuals. There is no questions asked. They will be able to find out why it happened. Uh, but it is a tedious affair. Once again, as per ICAO's annex 13, it mentions that it requires a detailed analysis, which may run up uh, from anything of a timeline of nine months to a year. Okay. Uh, the, yeah, so this is, this is critical. Okay, Fahad Masood, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it.